Hi, it's Kat. Today I'm going to be making one of our rocking snow globes for you. I'm going to use our Santa set and the other equipment you will need is some uh, red liner tape, a little bit of construction glue. I'm using the mini square foam pads and the thin strip foam pads and then your equipment, just some scissors and your trimmer. Okay, let's get going. So the first, first thing I'm going to do is take our rocker base and just pop this out of the sheet. I'm just going to fold this down, fold it in half along the score line and then the other areas are already scored for you so it's just a case of folding them in and squeezing down and that's one side and then just repeat on the other so if you fold it down squeeze it in and that creates the rocker portion of our card so I'm just going to pop that to one side while we create our domed front so using this sheet I'm going to take out this large gold frame and then pop out the centre and just pop that to one side because we're going to come back and use those elements shortly. And this is going to be the frame around our domed element. So I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to carefully take my thin red liner tape and use this to edge the inner edge of um, my frame. I'm just going to carefully go around, try not to take the tape over the edge and fold it around the, the sides. If you get any little creases, just go back with your finger and press them down. And just continue that all the way around. And just keep bending and shaping to fit the circle. And when you get back to your starting point, just a little snip. And then you can use your pokey tool to remove the tape from the top. and peel that back. So now we're going to bring in our little dome front that comes with your collection. I'm going to pop that down and place my frame over the top. When I'm happy it's in the place I want it to be, just go around and give it a firm press down. And then we're going to pop that to one side with our rocker to build up later. So I'm going to bring back in the element that we took out of our frame before. As well on that sheet, there's another matching topper. So we'll just pop that out. And in the center of that, there's another element that we want. So we'll just line those up ready to assemble. And then on our last sheet, there is our main circle topper. So this one is, the large one is going to be our base. Then we're going to have the one with the hole in the middle. We're going to pop this one out of there. And these make up our decoupage elements. So we're going to turn these two over. So I'm going to pop foam pads on the back of these. So for this one I'm just using the little square foam pads. And I'm going to use one of them for our smallest element. And then for our middle piece I'm going to take one of our long thin strips. We can't just pop a foam pad in the middle because it would sit through this hole here so I'm going to form this round the edge of this centre piece. Just snip away any excess 
and then we can start building up the layers. So bring in your base and just give yourself a second just to make sure you've got everything lined up nicely and once you're happy with it give it a good press down and then we're just going to continue that with our other layers while we build them up. And that gives us our nice pyramage effect. So if we bring back in our dome frame, I'm going to take a little bit of construction glue around the outer edge where the cardboard still is. All the way around. And then we're going to pop this on top of our main topper. And of course, you can get fancy and fill this with some shaker elements if you like. And make sure that's nicely in place. So now we bring back in our rocker section and we're just going to add this onto here. So again, I'm gonna use a little bit of construction glue. Just making sure I know where my center is at the top. So if you use one finger to hold it down at the bottom and with the construction glue you've got that little bit of wiggle time to make sure you've got it nicely centred where you'd like it. And then you can bring back in the circle element again and we can take out the sentiment. And you can place this wherever you like but I'm going to use a foam pad and just pop it at the top of our rocker. And then if you just turn it over on the sheet that our main topper was on, you also get a little writing section panel that you can just pop on the back. And that just fits on the top section here. And there you have it. We have our Rocking Santa snow globe card. <laughs>